getting some mocap work. What an honor and blessing it is to get to work here. Come on, praise God, thank you, Jesus. Get your popcorn ready. <laughs> Hi, I'm Timothy Smiley, and I'm part of the iBible intern team, and I work doing all of the motion capture for iBible. It's been a really insane learning experience to learn all of the different parts of it. So when we start off, um, we bring the actor in, and we give them the lines. We make sure that they know what they're doing beforehand, and we'll have a storyboard beforehand. We'll have all the shots laid out that we want to have so that we have an idea of how we want to to do the motions. We're using a different type of suit than what you see. If you go, uh, if you watch a Hollywood movie, you'll see the people with the ping pong balls all over their body, and they got these big camera setups and whatever. That's a little different. What we're doing is we're using your everyday Wi-Fi router. So we're using a Wi-Fi router, and we're putting little sensors on the different parts of their body, and then those sensors are sending data of the location of those joints so that it's telling the computer what it is that we're looking at and where everything is positioned. Now the face is interesting. Face is a cool technology because it uses the modern day iPhones. So it'll take the LiDAR scanner that most people have on the new iPhones that kind of sends data, you know, in order to record your face so that you can unlock your phone with your face. We use that same technology and it scans your face and is able to tell what your expressions are. And it's able to take that data and put it on a character. And it's been really crucial to being able to get the kind of high quality facial animation that we've been able to get. What's up guys, I'm Tim Llewellyn. I've been doing the um, acting for the male roles in the iBible episodes we've been doing recently. When I first started putting on the, the mocap suit, you know, they have the whole setup over here with the computer and you see the 3D figure, you know, when your suit is on and they got the face mask on and the camera's rolling and the whole suit, is, the body suit is turned on, you got all the sensors fired up, but you can also see your, as you're moving with your hands, you got the gloves on, you can see every single movement tracking onto the computer. And uh, something I just love to do, I love to dance and have fun. And so you can literally see all the little movements tracking directly onto the 3D figure. And it's just, it cracks me up. <laughs> Putting on a, a mocap suit and doing that style of acting, for me personally, it's been um, such a, a, an amazing, beautiful challenge. Are we actually, is it action or? Yeah, we are, we're rolling. Okay. So. With acting, you don't want it to be acting. You want it to be real and authentic and vulnerable. And in regards to putting on the suit and having the camera directly in front of your face, that's a very real thing that you're dealing with and going through. And the tendency you have to fight in a way is to not feel like you have to project to get it out because there's no one really in front of you. And it's almost like green screen acting to where you have to really imagine and visualize what you're seeing for whatever the scene calls for. God with us. Cut, take, that's my take. So once we have the motion capture, we'll take it in and we'll put it into another program where we'll clean it up. So when you get motion capture, it's never perfect. You never get it right out of the box where it's perfectly clean and it's exactly what you want. There's all sorts of little bugs and issues or weird things that happen with the suit. So our team goes in and we look at every single frame of it. And if there's anything out of line, the head's in the wrong position, something pops out of joint, or somebody's arms or legs are, are like clipping through itself, we'll move it, we'll clean it up. So there is a little bit of actual animation. These will go in and do some hand animation to it to get things more precise, but it saves you so much time using motion capture than it would to actually have to hand animate it. So Unreal Engine is a very popular game engine that's kind of out there for anybody to use for free. And a lot of studios are now using it. Unreal has created tools that allow filmmakers to be able to use it as well. 
There's tons of really great things that it gives us, allows us to render things in real time. So normally, like a Pixar movie, if you're gonna render the whole thing, some of those movies took multiple months before you got the final project. But I'm able to look at it and see what the final product will look at before we even render it, because you don't need to, it's real time. So that's the beauty of it. And we have here the scene of Joseph describing what the dream means to Pharaoh using the seven healthy cows, seven sick cows, and the barley plant and its seven sheep. If I'm not mistaken, that is a wrap on episode 31. Yeah. We have so much fun dancing around, encouraging each other, and getting to work with folks who are um, just on fire for the Lord and, and really wanting uh, to be intentional about seeking to advance the kingdom of God through media and getting to, to be a part of projects that really seek to glorify Him and, and make Him known throughout the earth. Nothing much better than that. I would say nothing better than that. May God be glorified through it all in Jesus' name.